difficult to be a 15, 16 year old kid when some of your friends are starting to drink and everything and they invite you to go, you know, do something on a Friday night, but you were planning on going to the field and practicing free kicks or dribbling, doing a drill on some cones. Like it's, it's not easy to say those things, but if you care enough or you're disciplined enough, and I think there's a distinction between those things. Really? I do. I think especially in education, I think you look at very different types of people. I think you look at, there's people in, you know, in the corporate world, in the academic world, that you have people that are really good at what they do because they just, they're so curious about it and they just want to understand as much as they can. And so they're just good because they are so curious and they ask the right questions. And then you have people that are just disciplined and they just, you know, they might not even love it. You talk to people, you know, I know some people that have done banking and they fucking hate their lives but they're disciplined enough to get up and do it every day, even though they hate it, you know? They get up and they work hard and they do a pretty damn good job. And I think that there's definitely a distinction between those two things. Like one, the curious person probably pops out of bed a lot easier than the disciplined person does. But they still get out of bed at the same time and get to work at the same time. So, I don't know. I think it's an interesting distinction. And you you meet these people. And you can see it pretty quickly. <laughs> so in my opinion, I think it's easier to be disciplined when you are passionate and curious mm-hmm. about something and interested in it. Exactly. Because a lot of people will say, wow, he sacrificed so much mm-hmm. in high school. No, I didn't. My social life was playing soccer every mm-hmm. single weekend. That's what I wanted to do with my social life. Mm-hmm. That was me having fun. Mm-hmm. If for you having fun was going on dates and going to these parties and drinking at a young age, super cool for yeah. you. Nothing against you. But we just had different interests. Yeah. It's not that I'm sacrificing anything. I enjoyed waking mm-hmm. up at 5 a.m. or 4 a.m. to get hit a workout in and then go to school. I genuinely like that. Mm-hmm. If you enjoyed something else, that's completely fine. Yeah. But I think discipline comes from chasing something that you're really interested in. Mm-hmm. It's not always easy to follow a certain diet and be disciplined with it. But the results you get is what you want. So mm-hmm. that's what keeps you going. If there's no interest in passion, I genuinely don't think... You can be disciplined. It's in all very honesty. Diff- I think I think I would disagree slightly, and I think that it's very difficult to. But I think that uh, I do to some extent agree. It's it's like the conditional thing where if you're curious about something enough, it's pretty easy to be quote disciplined because what disciplined, what somebody else would define as you being disciplined is you just saying what do you mean like I I love this, uh, whereas I think some people you know. And there's, it's more specific examples, but they might, you know, for the last bit of soccer, you know, there's been spells where like I felt burnt out and I was ready to be done. And it's like, you know, you still got to get out of bed and get to practice. Even though I'm not loving it and having a great time, not playing in and out of injuries, like, you know, you felt this too. You still got to like get up, go to practice and act like you're there to you know, get on the field. Why did you keep doing it? You know, I think when you have enough external factors, you know, you have your, for me, a big thing was always, and I never fully appreciate it until I got to college, but you look at something like just the investment and time commitment that your parents put into you, you know, look back and it's like, how could I not finish this out? Like they, they poured their, blood sweat and tears into me being able to get to an opportunity like this you know and that's an external factor you know it's 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 a little bit of like disciplined uh you know like assisted discipline like it's not like i'm just doing this for me um and i think that's i think that's okay i think that's perfectly okay that is perfectly fine but i still would argue that Mm -hmm. there's some sort of interest because honestly you had me in the first half of like (laughs) Well, with our careers, and that is a damn good point that I hadn't considered. I was mm-hmm. Googling this book that I've mentioned plenty of times on this podcast, Angela Duckworth's uh, Grit, The Power of, of Passion and Perseverance. Mm-hmm. Chapter four of that book will stick out to me forever. It's titled Interest. Okay. It says that you cannot be gritty if you're not interested. Interested in what? Mm-hmm. I wasn't interested in soccer or becoming a pro soccer player anymore. What are you talking about, Fair? Well, I'm talking about 
being interested in giving back to your parents. Mm-hmm. I'm talking about giving them that picture at the end of the year when mm-hmm. you graduate that says student athlete mm-hmm. on the stole. Yeah. Like that's our interest right there. That's our motivation. That's what keeps us going. That's what we're interested in. I would still argue that because we had an interest in the past, the discipline was so easy. It was mm-hmm. a lifestyle for us. Like it, it was second nature to us. Mm-hmm. Whereas if you're starting from the beginning and there's no interest, how on earth are you going to yeah. do it? Yeah, I agree. And I, th- I think especially in this, in this example, when you talk about soccer, I mean, it's something that we both at one point had a dying passion for. You know, I just wanted to be a professional soccer player when I was 14, and that was that, was that you know? <laughs> and if, for anyone who knows me, yeah. could not be further from the truth at this current moment, you yeah. know? like, uh, And it just, you know, those things change over time, and that's fine. And I just think, you know, because I think the big difference is you have those external motivators you want to do this for your parents or you you think that it's just the right thing to do to finish out or you want to get that scholarship or whatever it might be. Finish what you started. <laughs> finish what you started. I'm no quitter. Um, but, you know, like I would think, I would even argue, you know, there's mornings I'm at practice and stuff and you have kids that want to play pro and they're very passionate about the game and they want to learn about the game and I, there's some mornings where I'm just there and I just... I'm just trying to finish practice, man. I just, I'm, I'm looking at the coaches, like, when are they going to blow the whistle so I can get to my class and do my assignment that I have? Um, and it's like, somebody would look at me and be like, well, you look pretty passionate on the field. Like, you, you, you know, you're going into tackles hard. You're getting upset. You're yelling at people, all this. And it's like, yeah, it's not as much like that I just love soccer. I'm just a hyper competitive person. I just hate losing. Yep. Um, and so, I don't know. I think, uh, I think that could almost be an, a little bit of an argument for the or for the alternative, but but you're still interested in being competitive, though. It's true. There you go. But it's not it's not the sport itself. It's not the sport itself, but it's the com- competition. It's the competition that keeps you going, which is kind of like an abstract question, I guess. But <laughs> what do you mean? That you're not interested. You know, we're talking about the game, and you're showing up to practice because it's soccer and whatever. But maybe you're showing up because you like competing, though. Is like the point competing. I'm trying to make? Exactly, which is what I'm saying is okay. like, soccer. Maybe soccer was the medium that you used. Yeah. It was. It was the best way that you were able to express your competitive edge. 